Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, founder of the new Popper Party of Ontario, just YouTube for Popper Party. And I've been at the Occupy movement since October 15th when it started. And I go every Saturday for the march. And I want to march down to the Bank of Canada branch where I used to pick it 30 years ago when I knew that they were the bad guys. And so now that they busted up their camp, it was a great opportunity to start a march at St. James down to the Bank of Canada and back. So that's why I went down and saw if I could get a march organized over to pick at the right guys. And this is a report on the Popper Party at Occupy Toronto Bank of Canada branch on November the 26th, 2011. And uh, the first 20 minutes are going to be about music, uh, you know, warming up the crowd before we go on our march. That's what I heard too. I have my people working on it, but apparently they can't find a single trace of the march online. It's strange. Two o'clock, I heard there's a meeting up at Young Denda Square to show solidarity. That's impossible. They won't let us on the, the square. There's a massive, there's like a kids carnival there right now. Now watch hey, the camera. Hey, I'll hey, just pay for hey, my part. hey, hey. I learned to love, and I learned to hate. And in the end, in the end, it sealed my fate. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Some of them were so fat. Well, yeah, no, there were more, there were more people there. There were more people here, more crappy. Why didn't they? Maybe you guys are gonna eat no organic food or something. Maybe. I have no idea. Even the police didn't even show up. There's only like two squad cars here. Yep. I guess everyone just decided to say fuck. I think the police station's right over there though. So it's easier than we have to. Yeah, well when we had the march last week, there was, there was like 20 squad cars. We had a whole show. The whole yeah. bicycle squadron. Well, well, that's still on. I guess both sides said fuck it. We might have a march coming here though, we'll see. Alright, let's stop the catch rally. Isn't that, aren't they coming here? I hope so. Maybe that's what we're supposed to be doing today. Danger now! Yeah, ever since the eviction, everything's been going sour. Please shop with the full force though. We might get Casaloma bought for us though. Casaloma? Yeah, so rich guy wants to buy Casaloma so we get all this there. What's that spot? That'd be sick. That would be sick. I, just, I don't know the people allow it. Kids with her. She got a She went in, let the other doctor store and let her buy it. The store let her buy it anyway. That's fucking ridiculous. And she pipe was her way in line. Sure, she was pretty high for me. Oh yeah, I did talk about it. Really good. The store? So that's why girls try to get the drivers over there. And no one won't show me even. It's like, hey, I'm a 16 year old kid with ADHD, I want you. How the hell do we get a 3D camera down here? Oh, she's 3D. Nice. Side there's one. Even better. Yeah, a lot faster. The pose. Those are not Bravo! Nice. Any requests, sir? I shot a lot of them. Oh, here's where you'll know for sure. Anything in 3D is big box. Oh, yeah. It's also easy to sell. But you have a dog shooting in 3D, it's still like a profit. Exactly. You gotta get some fingerless gloves like I do. Yeah, no problem. Look, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Tips of the finger. Yeah. You're touching cold ivory. You're gonna join the gym. That's cold. In the service. So. In a month. Yep. We're done. Doesn't look like there's a big uh, turn on so far. Besides, you know, I think it's good. Come on, man. Very shocking. Well, apparently it's on. It's on. You're still doing this? Folks Hell, we can't even occupy the sidewalk with this amount of people. As a, as a matter of fact, my accordion, my accordion, where it is, right here. Medical user call. Cool. Kept me out of jail three times. What? Three times I got community service. You know, when I ran the biggest game in house in history, 28 tables, 100 hours community service. Save my accordion. Thank you very much. Oh my god. Save me my accordion. That's okay. These things will get me used to anyway. <laughs>
started. Well, Vancouver's technically where it started. Yeah. Well, we were one of the, one of the better movements because we uh, we actually showed Occupy Wall Street a lot of new techniques. Yeah. Let the live stream. way of running stuff. Let the live stream and I organized. Oh, that, that was the only two marks I was in. The big October 15th one and the Rob Four March. That's the only ones I knew about because of the crappy media coordination. Yeah. And sometimes we would set things up like last week. Really complete purge of the admins on the Occupy Toronto Facebook page and just put in people actually give a shite. 
should it's make a page that's like, we, you cannot post things on this page. It's only... News updates. News updates. And you might have to watch on our website because I have a lot. You just rant a lot. There's a bunch of rants on, uh, on the 1%, but no actual news updates. Exactly. No, we need to know what we're doing because everyone knows what we're doing. Everyone like, knows what the fuck we're doing. We know what we're fighting doing. for. But we need to convey that message to other people. We gotta stop preaching in the bloody corner. Exactly. We know there's a lot of fucking problems. We need to make people. We have to make, we have to make other people know there's a lot of fucking problems. That's yeah. the idea. And we need to have more. We, we need, need to have more coordination so that we can get more outreach. Oh well, we are just a baby movement, and we're still a baby now. But we'll. I think uh, the economy is going to crash in January. I think people are going to start realizing in February that Fuck. this March needs, or that this movement needs to happen. And I think that's going to be really important. But right now we're just it's trying to fix what happens. Look at yourself as strong as hell. It's just this seed. Look hey, what happened to us when everyone thought they were fucking up and they start firing tear gas. Look at David. You look at UC Davis. Before they got pepper spray, they had a dozen people, a couple of tents, they were done. But as soon as the cops came and just started dousing people, 5,000 kids out the next day. That's 12 to 15,000. All you need is one catalyst. Whether it be police brutality, a protest that strikes the money, or even this guy. Yeah. Just something for people to respond to. Something that draws people in. They're so used to. This guy was good. And it's actually putting a solution, it might work. Yeah. Mike check. Mike, Mike check. check. The march. The march. Is uh, the city hall. It's the city hall. Oh. Because the people in Egypt. Because the people in Egypt. Are getting killed. Are getting killed. By the military rulers. By the military rulers. Showing solidarity. Solidarity. And outreach. I always do that at the marches. Get them going, you know. <laughs> the Bud Light song. Oh, here's one of my favorites I never play because it's so hard. What time is it, Mike? Ten after two. No. Oh, well, okay. Last song, put the accordion away, go do my march. Me and Terry will be back in half an hour. You going to City Hall? Yeah, I'm going to the Bank of Canada, who can fix it. City Hall can't. We need a rant. What? We want a rant. A rant? <laughs> okay, no. why are you here? Yay! Because this guy doesn't get out. Why am I here? I'm picking up the Bank of Canada and march to Parliament. Five years! In the early 1980s, while there was 22% interest rates. And I've been here every Saturday for Occupy, and I'm coming back on Saturdays because I'm pacing myself. And I don't need permits, and I don't need to impede. I walk on the sidewalk, I obey the rules, no permits, and every time I run into a pedestrian or a policeman, I say, Interest-free loans at the Bank of Canada. Good idea. <laughs> and they almost always smile back. So, why am I here? In 2001, Argentina was broke, remember? 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? Well, the union said, you got no cash to the governments? We'll accept small denomination provincial bonds we can use to pay for our HTML. Hydropower, taxes, medical, licenses. Everybody in the provinces took the bonds, no layoffs, more jobs, all debt paid off in five years, didn't make the news. Any province can do it. And that's why in the last election, I founded the new <coughs> Popper Party, and that's what we pushed, the Argentine solution. So go to YouTube, YouTube for Popper Party, and you'll get all our videos explaining what we're doing. But that's why I'm here. You got a picture of me here, being arrested, picking in the IMF World Bank Conference. In 1982, when I was alone. Well, now it's nice to see a lot more people wising up to the banks. 
but they got to do more than just go, and the Fed, fix the bank, and the Fed. You got to have an alternative, which is why I'm a protest instructor, not a protest obstructor. I've got an alternative to offer the Argentine solution, so I wear my Sunday best. I want to get in, make a presentation. As a matter of fact, in 1983, they were so used to me protesting around Ottawa that when the Queen came to town, they lit me into her receiving line with a picket sign. I'm probably the only person on the planet who got close enough to bop the Queen with a picket sign. Even if there was a cop right beside me, they trusted me because my sign said, Your Majesty, please abolish interest rates. So they knew I wasn't mad at her, I wanted something. But if you don't know what you want, you just know that there's something wrong. What about the Buffett rule? Do something, do something, what rule? The Buffett rule, increase taxes on the rich. The Tobin tax, okay? Hey, they want to get half of a percent back for you out of what they stole. Yeah, big win. So that's a ridiculous thing. So anyway, we have our popper party now, we registered it. And we're starting up the world's biggest free barter system. Time barter. Just like PayPal. Imagine the Bank of Canada has a PayPal. Log on. Pay your student loans, your mortgages, your debts. And after that, all payments go against principal. And then someday every debt is paid off. Well, it's only the usury that makes debts grow forever. And once you can access the Bank of Canada directly, for an interest-free loan. Well, I call that banking debts on earth as it is in heaven. And remember, Jesus beat up the bankers in the temple. They were the bad guys. Not the hookers, not the thieves, not the criminals, not the murderers, the bankers. And was up on a cross three days later. And he said in the Thomas, in the Thomas gospel that was disappeared for 2,000 years, we just found it. Jesus said, if you have any money, do not lend it out on interest. How come they didn't keep that in the book? Well, same as Muhammad, same as Nehemiah, same as Buddha. We got all the great saints and all the religions who all agree loan shark is bad. So we have something to bring them all together. Well, we're starting up the Gold Nugget Network. So you can log on, open an account, just like PayPal. You can promise time, and then you can issue your own currency your own IOUs for an hour of labor worth 12 nuggets. Then you can go spend them in our stores because you're on the same list as they are, offering to walk their dog or clean their store or something in exchange. So it's an underground time barter system. And remember, when the 99% are running our own bank, the 1% are gonna have to come and get a job like the rest of us, right? <laughs> so that's the answer. What are all bank? And our popper party, we're starting our own underground time bank, and we have tax credits to do it too. If you go popper party at YouTube, look for Laurie debate. During the last election, I said to the sitting MP, hey Dave, now that me and Mike started a new party, we could say to every pizzeria in town, send us 400 bucks worth of pizza to send to the soup kitchen, and we'll give you an Ontario $300 tax credit. Right, Dave? And he had to go, yeah. So how come the Liberals, Tories, never thought of feeding the poor with Ontario paid tax credits? They don't think out of the box. They think about what they want for themselves. But I thought, whoa, free government money if they send food to the poor? I think I'll get registered to arrange that. And Michael Spahn is with and I, two candidates that got it registered, and now everybody can use the machine. Just log on, start your own constituency association, start bringing in the goodies. So that's why I'm here. Like I said at the last Occupy Movement, we can give you tax credits for all your expenses. Not your time, but your gas, food, accommodations. You got those dates for Saturdays when I was here. You send them into our party, we can get you 75% of your money back. That's the power of political tax credits. Canada, the guys with the How about a compromise?
who can fix him. What? Duck mice. Sing Hall first, then we march to Bank Canada, then we come back. Go where? Sing Hall, then Bank Canada, then back. Why? What's at City Hall? Well, we got a mayor right now that's cutting services in the left and right. Yeah, but if the Bank of Canada doesn't fix it, you can't make it to fix it either. So the bad guys are the Bank of Canada. Are we doing a march against the omnibus bill today? I want to go buy the bank of Canada. Screw it. If this guy's going to bank Canada, I'm going there. He's the only guy with an actual plan. Sure. Symbol is up. Sean, sure, okay. how many blocks? Oh, it's about, it's it's five just, long just, long Just don't blocks. let it get you too yeah. fixed. Five long There's <laughs> a solid click in back. Are you going? Cool? Yeah, we go for march now. Oh. But not in street, on sidewalk. Go no per, No permit necessary. Not to mention there's not enough people to go on the street anyway. That's right. That's right. We don't want to make anybody bad, we just want to get This is grass uh, grass protest on AstroTurf. Gee, last week we were like a thousand people to leaving off on our demo, and now we're only three. Three, four. Well, I appreciate it. Five. Yes, sir. I don't give up easily. Stop internet ban. Next week they'll come back earlier. We will get actual media. We'll actually get media coordination on that stuff. Well, you know, in the early 80s, I traveled across Canada picketing Bank of Canada, Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, China, Winnipeg, Montreal, Halifax. Good fitting, good fitting. What are you going to do again? Press the rules of Bank of Canada. Good idea? Try that. Try that.
That's where I was arrested 29 years ago. Don't go by the spot. There it is, that big great building here. Small great building. That's Bank Canada, I know that's how you truth. I just want my picture taken in front of it, just to record. First time the Occupy movement pickets the right guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Osgood Hall, don't we know that place? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the date today? Three weeks ago we were in there, right? Good idea. Interest free loans at the Bank of Canada. Good idea. Interest free loans starting grade one. Oh, long time since I picketed those boys. 29 years, 30 years ago. Bank of Canada. Interest free loans at the Bank of Canada. Good idea. Protesting the wrong guys. <laughs> As if the old courthouse is something. <laughs> oh, we'll go down this way. I want to go by where I got arrested in 1982. Oh, yeah. 82. Right you remember 82? I can remember 82. Right, coming up here. Well, anyway, somebody demoed it right? to the right place. It was right around here. Right around here, let's see where the picture puts me. Big post here. Yeah. You can see cars in there. So it must have been right here. 29 years ago, this post. <laughs> me, Officer Feeney. <laughs> Look at here comes security. <laughs> Good idea. No. Oh, come on. Ah. We, got, we got security, man. We got to put security. You got to make pace to be a freak. Yeah. <laughs> In their eyes. Occupy Toronto. I'm it. One man march. <laughs> All right. Many of those. When I do the Bank of Canada alone, 
I don't get sick kids for 413 days. Oh shit, that's a lot. <laughs> Every day. I only got, I only did about 250 weeks. That's, wow. Really? Yeah, I got to kick out of Hoffa. He got a junction against me. <laughs> I had to go to court and everything. I called a psycho surgeon. He got upset. <laughs> That's it. Okay, we got my my things out, my closers, my brackets. So the moment I walk around and say, "Occupy Toronto," it's me alone. 